Hi all, welcome back for more rudimental ritual fun. Now, by now you've been working through rudiments 1 through 9, which are mostly rough and uh, uh, drag rudiments. Now we're going to kind of get into uh, a small chunk of flam rudiments. Now, if you've never heard of a flam or played a flam before and you're, you're, you're wondering what the heck a flam is, I'm going to show you here real quick. A flam is essentially two notes played to sound like one note, one thicker note. And uh, essentially, it's your accented note, and whichever hand isn't the accented note, say if I'm playing a right-handed accented note, the left hand would be closer to the head, and you move them both at the same speed, so you get two separate notes, but you don't want it to sound like you don't want it to sound like that. You want it to sound like they are... You want it to be close enough that they're two distinct notes, but they sound like one thick note. And it's not the same... It's not both of them at the same time. That's called a flat flam. That's not what we're going for. We're going for a traditional flam of... Or the left... Uh, one of the easiest ways to kind of get the hang of how playing that, uh, how to play this if you're not used to playing it, is to just kind of make it almost robotic. Play it painfully slow, one close to the head and one up top. And we're going to start with the right, lift up the left. Now you can kind of hear the two since you're going slower, but once you once you speed it up, then it kind of all comes together into that thicker sound. Just sounds a little thicker. So, in in the ritual, the first two measures of this particular flam, you play just quarter note flams, which are you go back and forth between the two. Uh, I'll play that very quick. That's all it is. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. And you start with the right flam, then you go to the left. So, it, it, one way to work that up is to play them slow. Now, you don't have to be that robotic about it, but I just wanted to show you what it sounds like. Now, the next portion goes into half note triplets. Uh, and I'll show you what that sounds like real quick. Now, you might be saying, what's a half note triplet? Well, quarter note triplet is every one, two, three, and four, you're playing a triplet. So, one and a two and a three and a four and a But for every, a half note triplet is ev a triplet for every other note. So, if we're starting on the bass drum, you got one, two, three, one, two, three. So, uh... One of the easiest ways to kind of find how that sounds is to take those quarter note triplets and then to just accent the right hand. And the half note triplets if, if you're not familiar with a little bit of music theory, quarter notes, uh, let's just pretend that a measure is a dollar bill. Quarter notes, a quarter, there are four of them in there, so one, two, three, four. A half note is just half that way. There's so a half the measure. It's worth half uh, the value of the measure. So you got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Or, you know, just to give you an idea, the other way around. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, instead of having the four, you've got the two, and then you play triplets off of that. So, now the trick is to just go back and forth between the two and keep those quarter notes going while still playing 
that half note triplet, and that's why it's easier to find going one and a two and a playing those quarter note triplets and then accenting the right hand. So, uh, now that you kind of got an idea and you can kind of work on getting that kind of sound under your belt so you can see what it's like playing those alternating flams, uh, with it, I'm going to play both of them back to back, all four measures. You got two measures on the quarter notes and then two measures on the half note triplets. Okay, so. And there you have it. Get to work on those, and uh, next time around, we will be playing some flam taps. Ooh. Uh, so keep up the good work, and I'll see you next time.